the last problem number 15 we are given log base a of 2 log base a of 3 and log base a of 7 and we are asked to find the following we're going to use the properties that we stated above for number 13 and 14 so we're going to represent 18 as either a product a quotient or a power of using 2, 3, and 7, we don't, or 7, we don't have to use all of them. So the best way to do this is do a prime factorization of 18. So 18 is 2 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. So 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. So Let's do a log base a of 18 is log base a of 2 times 3 times 3. So we're going to expand this. That's log base a of 2 plus log base a of 3 plus log base a of 3. So that's really 2 log base a of 3s. Or you could have thought of it as this is log base a of 2 times 3 squared. So that's log base a of 2. And log base a of 3 squared. And then the 2 using the power rule comes down. That's what happened here. So log base a of 2 is point three zero one approximately. This is approximately equal to, because these are irrational numbers, they go on forever. And log base a of 3 is approximately 0.477. So the answer is... one point two five five approximately don't forget order of operations when calculating these next log base a of seven over two using the quotient rule that just becomes log base a of seven minus log base a of two so that's approximately equal to point eight four five minus point three oh one which is approximately point five four four number C letter C there are several ways to do this. Probably the easiest way is to just say that's log base A of 1 minus log base A of 4. Log base A of 1 is um, 0 because A to any exponent, A to 0, any base to 0 exponent is, is 1. So that becomes 0. And changing 4 to 2 squared, that's log base a of 2 times 2, or 2 squared. So this 2 comes down here. So that's 0 minus, you can ignore the 0, so that's negative 2 times log base a of 2, which is approximately negative 2 times, and log base a of 2 is 3.301. So this is approximately point, negative point six oh two. Letter D, that's log base A of 3 to the 1 half, because radical 3 is 3 to the 1 half. We're using the rule, give a hoot, it's the power over the root. So the mth root of x to the n is x to the n over m. So square root of x, there's an understood 2 here, an understood 1 here. So that's x to the 1 half. 
we used this rule in one of the prior problems we did. So this one half using the power rule comes down. It's one half log this a of three, which is approximately one half of this a of three was given to us to be 0.477, which is two. 0.2385 and that's the whole review.